You know, for the longest time, I just felt like I couldn't catch a break. Like, man, it's like I wanted it bad enough, but I just couldn't reach it. Like, I couldn't get it. Like, one of my very first uh, memories of trying to get into the six-figure club, right, <laughs> was the first hit $10,000 in one month, at least in income. Because I felt that, you know, there were so many people around me that were doing it. Um, well, I take that back. Not too many people around me were doing it, but so many people that I looked up to that were doing it, right? There's still a lot of people that just weren't doing it. They didn't either they didn't want to hit it or they were okay with not hitting it. Get it? So, so in other words, basically what I did was I, I continuously uh, observe from afar. Like I watch from afar and, and like I would get frustrated trying to figure out like how they did it. And so I would observe certain things like the way they dress, their, you know, their kind of like their mindset per se, like the way they talk, the way they held themselves, the way, you know, the topics they talked about. I even, I even studied the kind of cars that they drove and, uh, and what type of music that they listened to. And I try to figure out, I'm like, okay, well, you know, what's so different? How come they can hit it? How come I can't? And so like, no matter what I was doing, no matter how hard I tried, I would, I would try so hard to reach it. And when I didn't see it happen, I would get burnt out and sometimes give up, or I would go through kind of like these ups and downs and those ups and downs, man, it's, I think they're not only a waste of time, but it's also bad for you. It's bad for your momentum. It's bad for your health. It's bad for your mindset and all that. And this is what I discovered. So if you want to, if you've ever felt that way, or if you've ever came across that challenge, I'm going to share with you what I discovered that finally unlocked my capability of earning five figure months, you know, 10,000 plus per month. As a matter of fact, when I figured out how to, how to actually control this characteristic or this aspect that we all have, I mean, everybody, any human on earth right now has this, this particular ingredient. And once I figured out how to, kind of tweak it and, and hack it per se, <clears throat> what I did was I unlocked well into the five figure months. I was making close to six figures per month. And I want to share with you exactly what this characteristic is, because regardless of where you want to go, if you want to be a millionaire, you want to be a six figure earner, or you just want to kind of test yourself just to, just to have fun, right? Like you might not have as much responsibilities as I have, or I currently have today. So you could just be doing it for fun. God bless you. And, uh, and hopefully you could find a few major tweaks that you can implement today so you can unlock your potential. Let me show you everything I know. Jungle What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Sales Remastered. In this episode, we're going to talk about that one ingredient that really separates. And I hope that you could probably figure this part out. And it's a four letter word. You know, I'll even give you, I'll even give you a hint. It ends with D. <laughs> Speaking of which, my name is Daniel and I'm the host of Sales Remastered. And on these episodes, you know, of Breakfast of Champions, what I, what I, my goal is, is to be not only, you know, your first dose of hustle nutrition but I also want to be that that voice or at least that that influence within your morning and in your life that enables you to, to challenge yourself not only that but I want to be able to show you how you can truly go farther than what you believe right now as a matter of fact I want to share with you this one hack or this one ingredient that we all have and a hack that we can all put into place right now so long as we understand it and that's really kind of like you know that one major key that everyone talks about like the key is the key is well the key is knowledge the key is information right and uh and what you have to because without knowledge without information you simply do not have the power and the reason why knowledge and information gives you power is because knowledge and information enables you to to get the results you want. And so if your result was, you know, you just want to be happy, well, knowledge of knowing how to get happy is, is ultimately going to unlock and thus give you power to get happy. If you want knowledge and, and uh, information on how to increase your income, well, you came to the right place because I give you the information and knowledge to help you unlock that potential. And so in this episode, the reason why I'm even going down this path is because, you know, going back to my example from earlier, I remember when I first got into sales, and um, you know, there, it wasn't possible to earn five figures in a month. Like the people around me, they just weren't capable. The job, the industry, the because what you know, one of my very first sales jobs was to do quality control services. 
people called it customer service. If you're in customer service right now, technically you're in sales, or at least you're, you're, you're borderline in sales. And the reason for that is because you gotta sell the prospect either into being happy or giving you time or taking some sort of survey. And so one of my very first uh, telemarketing jobs was quality control services. And so I would, and this is way before computers were a thing. <laughs> like I feel old now, but you know, this is way before dialers. So we had hand dialers. We didn't even have hand headsets. Um, you know, most of us were holding our phones. And, um, and anyway, we would, we would actually have um, uh, connections to random people all across the US. And we would have to talk them into taking surveys on like Pizza Hut or New York Times. You know, um, uh, we would be paid by these big companies to randomly cold call and ask their input, you know, so that the company can therefore take that data or that information and improve. Anyway, within that environment, like I, there, no one was making, you know what I mean, 10,000 plus per month. It was not until I got actually into real estate where I became a telemarketer, didn't even have an idea of what, what they were making, right? Like I just needed a job. And so I got into this, this industry and I was really good on the phone so I naturally progressed very fast because this company that I uh, got hired with, which was, uh, it was a, a, a subsidiary of AmeriQuest, which if you don't know who AmeriQuest was, AmeriQuest was one of the largest subprime lenders and they had a, little, they had a, a company under their umbrella called Town & Country Credit. And so within that organization, they had this, this call center in Orange, California. It was right next to um, the block. And so, and so growing into that position or, or like coming across that position, I started as a telemarketer and uh, you know, I did very well. And it was a call center, so you had to be good on the phone. If you're good on the phone, like you were transferring leads to the salespeople. And so these salespeople were actually loan officers, and I didn't have an understanding of what loan officers were. I just knew that that these branches would send us gifts all the time. Like they would like they would send us feasts, you know, for uh, sending them a bunch of business. Um, LOs would send you a hundred dollar bills in the mail, just kind of as a thank you and, and to influence you to, you know, pass those leads directly to them. And uh, back then I used to smoke cigarettes, which is very bad by the way, um, but now I don't, so I'm proud to say that. But uh, I used to smoke cigarettes and, and in this building, there were a bunch of people, loan officers, actually on all floors, not all with the same organization, but there was these, you know, there would be some brokers, there'd be some bankers or what have you. And uh, they, they would be out there smoking too. And uh, and I would overhear, you know, cause I'm, always, I'm ear hustling in, towards the crowd that I want to be in, right? And so I'm seeing these people that are sharply dressed young folks too. They're just sharp as a motherfucker, like sharp, sharp, like, like man, like this dude's dressed like money, smells like money, looks like money, and I'm over here wearing dickies and an all white tee, right? Like swap meat brands, and so I'm hearing him, and and basically what he's saying is like he just clocked thirteen thousand um, dollars last month or twenty thousand dollars in one deal, and he was uh, basically asking people, like, hey man, you got leads for me? I'll pay you for those leads. You know, you got people that, that you talk to who want cash out, let me know, I got the lowest rates. And I didn't understand what he was talking about. But ultimately what he was doing was he was finding information or at least leads so that he can give a call and, and compete with my company. And I was wondering like, man, how, yeah, what? what are they doing? How come they're so willing to pay for these leads? How come these, people, how come these loan officers are sending me hundreds, hundred dollar bills in the mail, right? Like is money, is what the fuck? You know, so, so, Anyway, I start to observe and they open up this uh, this little loan officer branch within the call center, which which no one, you know, they didn't do. They had net branches. So if you went and did business with the with that company, you went to the local branch. And so and so the call center would call out to these leads and uh, and anyway, forward you to the closest branch. So they started this this team called National Team. National Team was the only uh, loan officer branch. Uh, that would do business just in-house, just through the phone. And so what that meant was, you know, that this was the only team across the entire country that did business over the phone, never met with the prospects. Anyway, the reason why I'm going down this path because I want to paint the picture and show you how this one ingredient that's, that's four letters long, ends with a D, and how it actually is your way to unlock your full potential, and that is because I, and you know, at the time before I got into this call center, before I got into the loan officer position, I could, I, I could want to make five figures per month plus all I want. But until I actually changed my circle, until I actually changed my belief system, I was unable to. Because even as a telemarketer, when I, when I got promoted into being a loan officer, 
it literally took me about, I wanna say a year and a half before I could crack five figures per month. And it's because, <clears throat> it's because I was, I was ultimately trying my hardest, right? So I would get like eight grand, you know what I mean? <laughs> like nine grand here and then, and then six grand, seven grand. I would get so close, but I could not crack that, that 10 grand plus. And so, and so finally what happened was, um, you know, I couldn't get to it. I got promoted as manager. I, you know, I was so young. I ended up getting demoted and, and being pushed out to a net branch, which was a, a branch that's outside, not in the call center. It's just because I couldn't, I couldn't lead as a young man. I, I couldn't lead older people. You know, I would, I would, I was very aggressive, and so I'd pop off at them in defense mode. And long story short, is is they brought in an older dude uh, to replace me, and so I got, I got transferred to a branch in Brea, California, Orange County. And so completely different mindset. You know, now I'm going back into sales, and this branch just happens to be one the top two, one of the top three branches in the entire company across the country of over like a hundred branches. And so, um, you know, so I go into this circle event, didn't really know anybody, um, you know, and 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 I'm just some dude, right? But they were inviting. They're very cool. They had a good synergy, um, and and uh, man, these people were making money, bro. <laughs> like they were all making money. <clears throat> and that was the thing that was a cool thing about it it was just you know it was like this from this family and so my first within my first 60 days of, of stepping within this branch of starting within this branch I went from the highest amount that I've earned ever which was nine grand to making seventy two thousand dollars in one month crazy right and I want to share with you why, what happened, what was the difference? Because right? I look back at that all the time. It was actually in August of uh, 2000, I want to say 2005. You know what I mean? Like, so that was 13 years ago, damn near this month. And it was in the month of August. And I remember, man, I remember I was trying so hard uh, before just to crack five figures. And, but when I, when I changed my circle and I saw people that were making 20 plus, uh, 20K plus per month, and I got to actually be within that group because within my circle before, before you know, when I got demoted, people in there weren't making 10 grand per month plus. They, they were cracking about eight, nine grand. Like we were all trying to strive for that 10K. But when you go into an environment that's already done it and has gone above and beyond, it's some, some, something crazy happens. And I wanna share with you that one four letter word is mind. It is in your mind, it's your belief, it's the way you wire your mind. Because what happened was when I was not cracking that five figure per month, my mindset only obsessed about the things that, that couldn't be. Meaning that, meaning that I, was, I was surrounded by people who haven't cracked five figures in a month. I was surrounded by people who obsessed about $10,000. I was surrounded by people who were fearful of not hitting $10,000 per month again or not, or not getting sales. It was the energy that surrounded me that actually grabbed, that actually grabbed me and kept me down. Because what the, the mind does is it, it gravitates towards things that are familiar to you. The mind actually um, can either lift you up or it can hold you back. And so I want to share with you how the mind, in my opinion, or at least in my example, kept me back is because I was so, I was so worried and focused on what wouldn't happen because I was surrounded by around people who have never made it happen. But when I changed my environment and, and I, you know, at the time I thought it sucked because I got demoted, right? Like you think the, the shit is going south when you get demoted and you get kicked out and it fucking sucked. But then I got kicked out to a branch and unfamiliar territory, you know, you know what I mean? It's a completely different world, but you know, I took it with stride and I went at it and I, and you know, and I did it. And oddly enough, when I, when I surrounded myself with people who have already achieved what I've been trying to achieve, and I studied their actions and I studied their mindset. I studied how they thought. I changed my mindset. I changed my mind. It rewired my mind. Because not only was it possible for these people, but they were doing it all the time. Not only was were they were their obsessions on their obsessions were on different things. You know, their obsessions were on getting the the next upgrade on a car. Their obsessions were, you know, buying something for their house. 
for their house. So this was a different level. And so when you're engulfed in this and you're thrown into this and they're telling you that they've made this much per month or you know that they're doing it and their energy is different. They're happy. They're content. They're, they have confidence and that there's this freedom. And, and now that I'm within this circle, I... I was able to adapt and mirror that same exact mindset, mirror that same exact uh, energy, and that in itself is what is what unlocked you know my 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 potential because my mind shifted. My mind went from a place of not not being able to secure that 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 dream to actually being able to secure it and surpass it. Like I like, like I never hit five figures per month to going from there to almost hitting six figures in one month. It's fucking crazy. And when that happened, man, no going back, you know, like when you hit something like when like right now, you might have a dream of hitting six figures. But the thing is, though, is that when you hit six figures, then you want more, right? Just like I would imagine, like when you hit when you hit 100,000, you're going to want to hit 150,000. When you hit 150,000, you're going to want to hit 200,000. Does that make sense? Your whole your whole lifestyle changes and then it adapts to the income. But you want to be careful, though. You know, there's a lot of people that live in check to check, and they're and they're making twenty plus k per month. You don't want to go down that path. You still want to be able to um, get your reserves, and I learned that the hard way through two thousand eight when that happened. Um, but you know, you always want to make sure you got a pocket full of assets or some sort of um, reserves that are out of sight, out of mind. Meaning you don't keep it all in one account. You know, you you have to store some ducats and some cash flow in an account that you don't see, that you don't look at. Because when you see it and you look at it, it you, you become reliant on it. It's very easy, right? Where if you have other assets where it's just tucked away and it's just it's on some e-statement shit where you don't even get it in the mail to look at it, then that shit just naturally grows. And then you become, you become successful at hacking your mindset to just think what you have inside your checking and savings is all you got. And so you're in this constant zone of, of replenishing and replenishing. But at the end of each month, you're also paying yourself out towards your assets too. So you're, you're replenishing and you're never hit, holding too much money because you're just going to want to spend it. That's where the term is, money burning a hole in my pocket. <laughs> and so anyway, I learned that as I was young because I was burning holes in my pocket, bro. Like every Tuesday, you know, the thing to do was to just drop a G at Best Buy. You know, I was like, man, I see these galore. I had video games galore. I had the, the, the newest TVs. You know what I mean? Like everything was, it was spending it faster than I could make it because I was making a lot of it. And, and that's another thing that I got from that mindset of those people within that circle was that they were just spending money. They were just burning it up. We all were. Right is because we knew that we were making it again the next month. Right, so there was just that mindset. So if you could figure out how to get and change your environment, how to put yourself in the circle where people are already doing it, but be strategic and be smart about it. Right, I think that you will not only grow much faster, but you're going to unlock what it is that you want and surpass it. Like get more than it, um, and it's very powerful. But it all starts with your mind. You need to shift your mind mindset. You need to change your mind. So, so in other words, if you're in, a, in an area where you just feel like you can't seem to get it or no one around you is getting it, it means your circle's not getting it. But if you could change that circle to, and, 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 and go into a circle of people who are getting it or who are on the level of getting it and have gotten it before, um, you know, that's how you're actually going to hit it much faster. You might be like, well, D, how do I get in that circle? Man, you don't need to be in the circle physically. You could be in the circle through digital form. You could be like my digital content, right? Like, like I got a, a, a you know, university link. If you haven't checked it out, there's a link below the video on these, on the notes in that, that you're watching. It's called sales remastered university. Do you want me to show you how to sell? That in itself is kind of like putting yourself within the circle. It's just me and you, boo-boo. It's just me and you on a training course, right? And I'm telling you exactly what to do, exactly how to develop your mindset, exactly how to put the pieces in place, the process in place to, to uh, maneuver and also persuade the operation roles and delegate the tasks that eat up a lot of your time to the individuals that, that can do it well. And so, and so if you can just focus on how to properly originate market and close loans, and then you knew how to use and leverage the system within your organization, whether small or big, like you will, you learn how that the logistics works and you learn how to persuade the operations and management and those around you to work for you.
you, then you can create an engine that that multiplies your income. And if you're saying like, "Hey, man, D, man, I just wanna, I just wanna make more money." Well, shit, man. Like the, the information's there, right? So it's only an excuse if you say, "Well, I just can't get in that circle." Today, you can get in any circle you want. They got all kinds of mastermind groups. But the key is though, you gotta find out which one's real, which one's not. So if you found out that this information was true to heart, if you feel that this information was helpful, you know, leave a comment below. Let me know what your takeaway was. Let me know if you figured out what that four-letter word was, or let me let me know. If you knew where I was getting at and how how a similar situation may have happened to you and share leave it in the notes so the community could see and read I know a lot of you watch these videos but you know may not be in a position to like or smash that thumbs up button but I do ask that you smash that thumbs up button it does help me with the community engagement so it puts it on the recommended feed and another person who does not know about this channel can discover this channel much like you did so I appreciate your time and I'll see you in the next video bye yeah, you a supermodel, then Tell that ass bustin' out the bottom I'ma lose my money in it Crazy that medulla obligato